Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel, here to do a show for you. So, <clears throat> oh my goodness. Yeah, there's some interesting things that I feel like <clears throat> might come out today. Because <laughs> this is interesting okay here we go uh first and foremost don't get scammed i never reach out to anyone i say this on every show but for the new people just make sure please make sure you do not get scammed by people reaching out to you and um second uh the way the show works just the, a really quick rundown if you'd like to call in and ask a question the call in number is 845 277 9131. You can ask questions about life, love, career. I ask that you have kind of a specific question in mind, uh, not just a general reading. That's for private purposes. You can call me and book a private session if you want a whole general reading. Um, or you can connect with a loved one on the other side. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, please let me know their name and their relationship to you. And if you have a question for them, state the question right away, not after I've given you the message. Again, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. If you're joining us on YouTube, you can post a question in the YouTube chat, if you call in, you get like the energy connections a little stronger. So those are your options right there. I go back and forth between the call in and the YouTube chat, answering questions for as many people as I can as the show goes on. I start the show with names. And by the way, everybody, this morning on TikTok, I did a messages TikTok and uh there there were some great things that came through so if you get the chance um go ahead and uh listen to that uh because it might it might be for you there were like over 20 loved ones in the room with me and blurbing things out so i could have made that TikTok like seriously an hour long but i try to keep all my TikToks at 60 seconds or less Okay. Um, okay, names. This could be the name of a loved one on the other side. The name, your name or a loved one's name that you are familiar with, but they're telling me they want to do messages instead. Hmm. That's new and it makes me a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but here we go. Um, if it's a name or a message, I'm going to let it come out regardless of. So here we go. Uh, the first name is Rosemary. The second name is Jose. The third name is Rico. The fourth name, I don't know why I'm counting them out today. That is ridiculous. I didn't even realize I was doing it until now. Um, ben. There's three. This could be one person or this could be three different people. Ben, Benny, and Ben Benito. I don't know that you're gonna know if, if this is three different people, that's okay. And if it's one person, that's okay. Uh, Cindy, you're Alana. Phew, you're Alana. I, I'm probably mispronouncing that and I apologize. Uh, Miskit, I, and again, if, if there's something close to the pronunciation, take it. Cause I'm not guaranteeing I can pronounce every name they give me. Orlando. Jimmy Lakti and the last name is Sh Shamin Shamin S H A M I N 
is I think how they're, they're showing me the spelling and that's the spelling. Okay, next we're going to go into uh, songs. Do you just want me to skip songs and give a message? They just, somebody keeps saying messages, 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 and I'm a little nervous because usually before they give a message, it's like preloading into my head and I know what it is, but okay. We're going to skip songs today and I'm going to go straight into a message and the message is going to, <laughs> I know nothing about this message, so here we go. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> Okay, the message for today, I guess it's going to be channeled because I can feel it now starting for the channeling. Here we go. It is imperative that you look at yourself in a new light. It is imperative that you look at yourself in the light that you would look at yourself if you were your mother and you were an infant. It is imperative that you see yourself in your fullness and your truth, not in the illusion of what this world or the people in this world have said to you. It is imperative that you look at yourself from the view of the heavens, not the view of the earth. It is imperative that at this point and this time that you look at yourself as the powerful being that you are. We know it is very difficult and you get a bit beat down upon this plane, but it is now time for you to move forward in all of your glory from your soul, from your spirit in a space that is of truth and recognition of yourself. It is time for you to live the life that you have always wanted to live. And you may think that means changing careers or changing partners or changing uh, destination. But the truth is that means living a life of joy and happiness. Within you is all the happiness and the joy that you could possibly want. It's time for you to live that joy, live that happiness, be in that space. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> that was, that was really good. I'm happy that I listened. <laughs> I hope you guys, uh, yeah, I'm happy that I listened and did the message, the channeling today. All right, I am going to start taking callers and questions um, in the chat and um, and uh, on the phone. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Sal. Um, Trisha and Fawn. Happy birthday, Fawn. Uh, Lynn, first name, last name. A Julie. Hi, I'm going to be getting to questions in the chat and I will start that in a second, but I'm going to start first with the uh, with a call. If you would like to call in again, the number is 845-277-9131. Yep, that's the call in number. And sometimes the connection and the energy is stronger in the call over the chat that so just you know whichever way you can do or want to do is fine uh when i say your area code please tell me your first name and where you're calling from 770 what's your name 
Sonia, and, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hey, Sonia, how can I help you today? Hey, I'm calling to see um, if you see anyone coming in my life in my life soon. Love, if you see love coming or someone coming. Okay, Sonia, uh, the first thing I hear is June, there's the potential for somebody to come come in, but then I hear the statement, keep your head up and keep your standards high. Don't, um, and I can't tell you what to do. I'm not telling you what to do. This is the message from, from the other side is don't, 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 um, and I don't like the word desperate, right? Because, well, for all the reasons we wouldn't like the word desperate, but don't accept somebody just because they're there if they're not, um, if they're not appropriate, if they're not good to you in every way, that's not the right person. You don't want that person in your life. Um, and we all know that goes both ways. I'm not saying have somebody in your life that's really good to you and you are pooping on them. No, of course, if somebody's good to us, we're going to be good to them. But don't have someone in your life that is in any way disrespectful to you. So in June, June is going to be a, a, a month for meeting people. That's all I can say, everybody. June is just going to be a beautiful month for meeting people. Um, I do feel like there's the potential for a couple of different people to come into your life. And I'm just going to say this personally. We spend more time picking out a pair of shoes than we do a man sometimes. <laughs> yes. We, yes. We, we will try on 20 different pair, try to figure out what's the perfect shoe. We will go to every single store looking for it, get online, shop it down. We will spend more time picking out a pair of shoes. But if somebody shows up, we somehow think that just because this person showed up in front of us, this must be it. He must be the one. He's right here in front of me. Not always the case. Spend as much time interrogating that person as you would a pair of shoes is what I'm getting. And it goes both way for men and women because, you know, some of my most scandalous uh, stories come from some of the women that I um, have been, you know, knowing throughout the years. So please don't think men, I'm not always coming for you, men. I, I Women and men can both play dirty. That's all I'm saying. But um, in this case, Sonia, make sure that the, 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 I'm not saying the first one is not the right one, but make sure you are exploring your options and you choose the most respectful person, not the sexiest person is what I'm hearing for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, I have, I have a feeling this is, you're going to be tested in June because one of these people might look really good, but be really bad. And then there's somebody else coming in that might not look as good, but they're a really good person and you get what you pick. It's like, you can pick the five inch stiletto, but it's not practical. You can only wear it once in, a, you know, for a special occasion. You can't wear that every day, everywhere, unless you're used to that. And, and we know what I mean by the five inch. Some people can wear five inch stilettos every place and it's not a problem. But what we want is the perfect, comfortable, shoe that makes our legs and our, our feet comfortable. If that makes sense, just do, sticking with the shoe comparison. Okay, love? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you so much, Sonia, it for does. calling in. I really appreciate that. I hope this was helpful. Thank you. You are so welcome. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I just need to go off camera for a second because all of a sudden my nose is running like crazy. Just give me one quick second.
I feel like I feel like thank you so much. I have tissue over there, but I did I just didn't want to do that on camera. I feel like I should have been doing the do 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 do. That is horribly sounding. Okay, I'm gonna go to the first question on the chat that I have not answered yet. Genevieve Sals, uh, Genevieve Patrick, uh, um, I think it's Julie, first name, last name, whoever that is, that, that's not Julie. Call in again because people are staying on now. I'm sorry you got disconnected. Uh, Lynn Marie, I'm gonna take your question first. Lynn Marie, good morning, Tony. Good morning, Lynn Marie. Um, is, do you see a significant guy coming into my life in June, as you told me a couple months ago? Thank you so much. Um, is Lynn Marie gonna have someone coming in in June? Yes. Is he significant? Yes. Will it be long? You know, I get this, you have the potential to have, and I always use the word potential now, because I used to say to people, you know, you're gonna you're gonna meet somebody at this point in time, and I would give them a lot of details about the potential person. And because one detail didn't sit right, they would say, Oh, that that must not be the the thing. So then they would not they would they would like not ruin it, but they would like not move forward with it. So I don't give as many details now and it seems to work out a little bit better for the people who are who are asking. Um, but what I will say, Lynn, is there's someone coming in in June. This person has the potential to be very significant in your life and to be long term. And I do feel like this person is going to help you and you are going to help them now. And this is what a significant relationship does. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to go into this a little bit. A significant relationship that helps us grow in love isn't one where we get roses every week and we, well, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, a significant relationship that helps us grow in love isn't just all flowery and beautiful. It's one that helps us heal the past while moving into the future. It's one that helps us look at that person and ourselves in a very loving way by letting go of things that maybe didn't work out, letting go of things that maybe weren't the best things for us, by letting go of things that, you know, we can be with this person and we can look at it and go, oh my gosh, I completely see why the past didn't work out and we want to be a better version of ourselves for and with this person. I've had that in the past. It's amazing and it's beautiful and it was perfect for when I was in it. Not all relationships allow us to heal ourselves and potentially help heal the other person, but that type of relationship is so powerful and you can make a lot of progression in your own life from that type of relationship. It comes in when you're ready, not when you want it, and it does catch you off guard. But this one that's coming in for you, Lynn, I feel like has the potential to do that and so much more. So please make sure that you are working into that and you're accepting that. And I feel like it's going to be a really good fit for you. And having said that, since two people called in about relationships, oh, that is pulling my hair too tight. Let's do this. Let's do a clearing Anything stopping, blocking, interfering with us having healthy, loving relationships. Let's heal, clear, release that now. And then anything stopping or blocking us from meeting the person that we are supposed to be with, the person that we, I don't believe there's one person, but our potential partner. Let's heal, clear, release that now. Okay, we're going to, if you feel that, let me know, folks. I'm going to go to the next caller. 
312, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Marquis and I'm calling from Chicago. How are you? Thank you for checking my call today. Absolutely. Thank you so much for calling in. How can I help you, love? Well, I'm just going to continue on with the, <clears throat> with the trend here. So I've met someone new and I'm just wondering, um, you know, is he a, a, maybe a potential mate or a good fit for me at this time? Can I please have just only their first name? I don't want to say his first name. It's very unique. Okay. I don't want to say his first name. No, that's okay. That's okay. Um, okay. Uh, how, g give me the age of the person, please. 47. For, okay. Thank you. I just need one fact about the person to try to tap into them and where they are and what they're going for at this point in their life. Okay, there's something about okay. a mirror. I'm going to say this. Don't jump to conclusions as I say it because as the information comes out, it's going to unfold. It's an unfolding thing. There's something about a marriage that's going to affect how far this relationship goes. Now, this doesn't mean I'm not looking at if this particular person is married right now. I'm not looking at that. It could be a marriage from the past or the way they're, they've seen yeah. marriages go. Whatever it is, it's going to affect how far this relationship goes. So in order for this to be successful for you, if you want this person, you have to come at it from a complete opposite perspective of, um, but I don't want to recommend that, but I'm going to say it. I don't. Okay. You can't be the person that's pushing for marriage. Now, if that's what you really want, I would recommend taking a different path with a different person because as soon okay. as anything gets a little bit serious with this particular 47 year old you are going to find uh like you're pushing up against a wall like there's a pushback okay. and it's gonna it's gonna be very okay. emotionally unstabling unstabilizing for you because you're gonna feel like Oh, we finally took one more step and then boom, two steps back. Um, and this person, I'm going to tell you this, this person can make cutting comments. Just, just, you might not know this yet. You might not see this part of this person yet, but this person can be emotionally, um, like it, it doesn't come out all the time. But once in a while, something will come out that really is kind of a cutting comment. And then it will like, uh -huh. it's, it's a comment that though will stick with you. It does. And again, it doesn't happen all the time. It happens once in a while and you will find yourself like you'll recover from that. And then down the line, it could happen again. The longer you might be with this person, the more that will happen and it will be something like it's not how do I explain these comments it's like off the cuff but it's it's intended exactly the way they say it it doesn't but it doesn't wow. happen often enough for you to call it a deal breaker in the beginning but eventually the more comfortable the person gets with you the more they will behave in this way and let those little snide or whatever comments or remarks come out oh it's it's so not healthy and then the other thing i'm getting if you decide to move forward with this it will move forward but it will be a constant like like i said one step forward two steps back never feeling secure but the other thing that i'm getting now if you decide not to move forward with this in july somebody new is going to come in beginning of july end of july beginning of july and i'm seeing july 4th so if you're out and about on the july 4th holiday especially if you're out in um the outside public events not inside public e events 
um, like the difference uh -huh. would, you know, okay, you are going to meet somebody yeah. new and that person has a better potential to match your personality and to okay. move forward with you. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to say because of what I'm first, before I say this, we've all been through it. Okay, we've all had good relationships that ended badly. We've all lost in relationships. So I don't even like, we've just all been there. So what I'm going to say is because of whatever this person has been through in the past, they are being very guarded about moving forward in the future. It's almost like I'm not going to lose anything again, but they're not looking at what they did in that past relationship to make it fall apart. And they will do that again in every relationship to make it fall apart. And I feel like if I'm being honest okay. and he, this person might not being honest, I feel like he had a wandering wee wee and that's why it fell apart. That's the story he's not okay. telling. That's what he, he might not be telling. Um, but here, and everybody does what they do. It's not judgment. I'm just slinging facts here. Um, sure. But if you, if you can, if you can, see this for yourself if you need to or just move don't take this too seriously and keep moving forward in july you have the potential to meet someone who could be a very dynamic partner in all aspects of your life now if you hang on to this person until july it's really gonna mess up anything you might have coming in okay Okay. I hope that was helpful. Okay. Love. Thank you so very much. You are so very welcome. You have an amazing day and I look forward to talking to you again in the future. Thank you, my love. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to go to the next question online. Uh, okay. Uh, what college? Uh, um, Julie, I need... I, Julie, if you can give me a, what are his top three choices, I could tell you which one is the best potential that he would be in, and that is the best I can do for Alex, okay? Um, I'm going to go to the next question. Uh, Tanya, <clears throat> Tanya wants to know... Any messages from my dad? I think that's Bill. The light is really bright. Bill, Bill, Thomas, dad, what are you here? Um, I think he came through on one of my shows last week because I hear Billy Bob Thornton right away. And I remember at the beginning of the show saying names and Billy and Bob came up. But anyway, so that's what I hear right now. The first thing he would want to say to you is, um, I hear the song, don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling, you know. And then the next thing he would say is, it's time for you to, um, he's using all song lyrics, it's time for you to fly um, um, and to um, Okay, let go of what's been holding you back from, let go of what's been holding you back from moving forward and having what you really want and just embrace it, okay? If, uh, I know what's what he's trying to say and I'm gonna like kind of paraphrase it if you go, if you don't go all in and something doesn't work out, you only have yourself to blame. That's, that's, I didn't paraphrase. That's exactly it. Um, you can't expect anything to work if you're not 100% in it. Okay. I hope that helps. I hope that's a good message for you. Um, thank you so much for posting the question. I'm going to go to, um, 415, 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? 
Hi, uh, this is Jessica from Pennsylvania. Hey, Jessica, how can I help you today? Um, I'm wondering, um, how, do you, how do you see me moving? Um, because I keep getting delays, like uh, with like my with work and stuff like that, money. So, I mean, I'm trying to get things going so I can get out of here and get on with things, but um, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> so how do you see that playing out with the moves? Okay, um, the first thing I hear is there's a timing in everything. Jessica, where are you moving to? Oh, I think I, uh, hold on. Uh, hold on, everybody. I think I lost, um, I think I lost my connection. I'm not sure, but I feel like I do, did. Uh, so just give me one second while I do this. Um, huh, interesting. Okay, everybody, I I think I can't call in. I tried to call into the show, call back in. It's not even letting me um, really call in. I don't under, I don't know. We'll see. We're trying one more time. Technology, right? It's come so far, but here we are. Um, so, yeah, it's not working. Here's what I'm going to say. I'm just, I'm going to let this go. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, um, for whatever reason, had something maybe to do with, I don't know what. But here's what I'm going to try to answer the rest of Jessica's question, even though I can't. Uh, ask her where she was planning on moving. Um, okay, Jessica, for your move, for what you're planning, sometimes we get time. Okay, so timing is everything, but sometimes we get tested. Is this really what we want? Is this really what's going to happen? And if we, and I understand the whole financial end of it, um, but if this is where you're going and what you want, please make sure that you are picking the right location that you're going to. Once you have the destination that is the right destination, and I feel like you do, and you have it narrowed down to exactly where you want to be and what you want to do, and you really embrace that. Everything will come together for you and be put together in that way. I don't know if the people on Blog Talk can hear me, but if you can hear me, please come to YouTube and ask your questions in YouTube. For some reason, my phone is not letting me call back into Blog Talk, so that's where we are with that. And I'm going to go to the next question. And actually, I'm going to go go back a little bit because I thought this person called in and I'm pretty sure they did, but um, I since I can't call, I'm gonna answer. Um, the question is, I've been promoting myself as a corporate consultant. That's good. Um, I'm getting meetings, but the meetings keep getting postponed and I want to know why this keeps happening. Thanks. Okay. Um, I'm clearing a few things for you. Here's what I'm getting. Keep going for corporate, but also go for all levels of business. There's going to be a breakthrough in May, and I see the 15th on, things should open up a little bit more. I do feel like if I, I get the corporate end, but go for all business 
all businesses and business types expand your parameter, open up a bit with it. Okay, love. And that will be very, very helpful for you. All right. Um, I do feel like that will be the best thing that you can do. Um, but we're going to continue the clearing for you. Okay. Thank you. Um, whenever something like that happens with the phone, it takes me a moment to get back into, to fall back into the energy and be in that space with it. So uh, give, I'm just uh, refocusing my energy now. Um, thank you, Kate. Kate said, beautiful minute, message at the beginning of the show. If you missed the message, uh, you can re-listen to it later. Um, I did dad bill. Let's go to the next one. I kind of lost my space. Now I'm coming back into it. Okay. Lolly wants to know. Oh, she doesn't have a good. Thank you for joining us, Lolly. Uh, not Lolly. It's um, yeah, Lolly. Thank you so much for joining us. If you have a question, please post it. And she does. It's down here. Okay, she did have a question. Oh my God, it's such a small friend. But here we go. Um, I have a question for you. I had a reading from a lady and she said I had 10 angels around me and said that was strange to her. I had so many. That is, that is, that's why I did the, hmm, look. Um, do you know why I would have so many around. Okay. There's a number of reasons that we can have so many angels. Typically, we have two or three angels since our incarnation, our very first incarnation till our last. Those are the ones that help us with our journey. And we have to, you know, if we, if we, whatever. Um, other angels come in at all times, at all different times for other purposes. So if we're going through a really difficult breakup, if we're getting married, if we are learning something new, if something's opening up within us, if something is about to happen, if something just happened, more angels will come in. If we've been praying and asking for certain things, more will come around us. And if we need protection from other things that are coming at us that we don't even know about, um, we will also get m more angels will come in. So if I'm looking at this for you, Lolly, and I'm going to try to see why, and if we're losing a job, getting a job, learning new skills, we're going off of our purpose. Okay. If we're swaying from our, this is what I'm getting now. If we're starting to sway from our purpose and they're, they're directing us to our purpose, or we're supposed to be doing something like writing a book or something, they'll send in to help keep us on track. Also, also, if we are around a lot of people that are not good for us, more angels will come in. And sometimes in family dynamics um, or partner dynamics or friend dynamics, um, they may have, they may be sketchy people or have sketchy people around them. So we'll be protected if we're not sketchy. I don't know. And then um, the other message that I'm getting of why more angels so many angels will surround us is because we're ascending. We're taking, um, I hear that level up, level up, level up, level up. Um, so we're moving up in our ascension, uh, spiritually, emotionally, physically, all of the above, one of the above. And then the angels will surround us to help us ascend. And then the, the other thing, and I think I might have touched on this already, if we're healing from something, 
if something happened and we're healing from it, they may come in at that point for that. Now, I am going to say this. They, if you have, you know, several, let's say you're going to school and you're working and you have children and it's just, you know, getting to that point for you, angels will come in and help you different angels for each thing like you have educational angels and you have work angels and not that one couldn't do it all but sometimes we do need if everything's a bit much we do need that and um so that and there's one other reason that they would there would be that many and i don't i'm not comfort i don't want to put anything in your head now i've named a number of reasons and it could be any of those. And the final reason is because something's coming in that could be pretty big for you that they're preparing you for. And this again could be, and I don't want you to own this one. Please don't own this one. Don't, you know, you heard like 10 different reasons. Don't hear this one and go, oh my God, it must be that one. It must not. I'm just saying it for you and or anybody else who could be listening is when something's coming in that could be what we consider to be very hurt, um, hurt, hurt us, harmful in some way, such as the loss of somebody very important in our life, a pet, a family member, whatever it is, then we'll have more angels come in and they come in prior to the event to help prepare us for the event. Now, this could be personal or public. So for example, when certain things happen in the world and it hits us, when 9-11 happened, there was so much heavenly help on this earth um, because it was such a shock to everybody's system that that happened. Because here in the US, we think we are untouchable. Right, we do. We've been so protected and so safe in the U.S. We've not had an event like that in our lifetimes, in most of our lifetimes. Now, I'm not going to get into what 9-11 really was, because if you know, you know. If you don't, I'm not here to expose that. But what I will say, it was such a shock to our systems that we needed buffering from that. We needed healing and buffering from the shock of that event. And then to help us acclimate into the future with everything that came after it. And I will tell you this, if even 90% of the population knew the truth, we our, our whole system would be so different right now. I'll tell you, we would take, there would not be the airport checks that there are. Um, and all I can say about that is the enemy within. And that's that. Okay, I'm going to go to the next question. Thank you so much for your question. And that was really good. I, I love that question. I hope that makes sense to people. If anybody wants to know more about that, please post the question. I'm not gonna go to calls anymore because obviously that is um, uh, not going to work today. Um, okay, next. Uh, <laughs> Sal, I just think this is funny, so I'm gonna put it up. If I personally choose a, a woman, like I choose shoes, I'm in trouble because the first pair I see I, that I like, I buy. Yeah, but you look at 20 pair maybe that you don't like. Please, Sal, tell me you look at like 20 pair you don't like. Um, you guys, if you know, Sal is this really very, I, I'm going to use words that maybe I'm not flattering to man, but first of all, Sal is very spiritual and he is a bit intuitive and he's written a book. He has a second book. Um, I think he lives in New York, if I'm remembering correctly. He's on the East Coast, I think. Sal, if I'm wrong about any of these details, let me know. And he's single. And he's such a great guy, you guys. 
he's a great guy. So, um, so yeah, there's that for you guys. So the, but you wouldn't, here's the thing, Sal, you might pick the first pair you like, which is great, but you try them on. And if they don't fit, you find the size that fits, right? Yeah. So there's that. Um, okay. I'm going to try to go to the next one. Uh, Oh, Patrick has a question. I love that. Thank you, Patrick. Patrick wants to know, should he go to Sarasota, Siesta Key instead of California next winter? Um, I think it's Sarasota and Siesta Key or Siesta Key. I want to say yes to that, but that's my personal answer. So I'm going to check with... Uh, upstairs and see what they say, Patrick. Um, should Patrick go to, I get a yes. I get a yes from them too. Um, <laughs> what I'm hearing is uh, it will be a little bit more, I don't know if fun is the right word, but it'll be a new experience, opening something new up for you, having a new adventure. Okay. I now are you going to do that? I don't know. I feel like you might end up back in Carmel, California, Patrick, but they're saying it would be really good even if you it, they're saying it would be really good. Uh go for a weekend, check out where you want to be in that area and then start making your plans for the winter, see how you feel about it. I feel that would be very very good for you. Um, I'm going to say this too. If you feel like I skipped your question, please repost your question and I will try to get to it. But I, it's very difficult if you, you know, going through and trying to catch every question and questions are coming in and the scroll is popping up. So please be patient. And again, if you feel like I missed your question, um, please repost it or get a private session. I'd, I, I am human, even though I work with non-human beings, I am human. So breathe, please breathe. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you, Tanya, confirming uh, the message I gave her. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, can you guys hear me? Because... Uh, Genevieve said, you guys cannot hear me. Somebody post if you can hear me. Okay, that was blog talk. Yeah, blog talk shut down. Okie dokie. Ani, I wanted to know, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I, find, I think I finally found a question. I wanted to know what would be metaphysical reason behind my body feeling weak all the time? Okay. What if my answer isn't metaphysical? <laughs> I don't know. I like that. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. Um, I'm just going to ask that question def definitely differently. And the way I'm going to ask that question is why is your body weak? And, um, So you've, one of the things, I'm, and this is kind of a metaphysical answer, but maybe not, you've given up your power a couple of times and you've not reclaimed it. So for anybody listening, watching, we're going to call back our power, all of our power. Now we're calling back our power and also that you concede when you don't want to, and that will make us very, very weak. I don't know if this is these are metaphysical answers or just answers, but both of those things will weaken our physical and energetic being. Um, I do feel like there's, is it self, yeah, there's a little bit of an issue with self, self, like self-confidence, self-esteem, self, whatever it is. So we're going to clear, heal, release that now. 
And if you feel this, please let me know. If you don't, it doesn't mean it's not working. It just means um, that we are not feeling it, okay? So there it is. Um, I hope that was helpful, Ani. I really do. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly too. Karma Karen wants to know anything from Leo, my grandpa, for me. Um, nothing new is what I hear. <laughs> nothing new. Same, same, same message. Um, and that is uh, that there's uh, love being sent to you. The next message would be the song Lollipop, Lollipop, oh, Lolly, Lollipop, Lollipop. And I'm seeing for some reason Shirley Temple. And oh, that's Lollipop too. Okay, on the good ship, Lollipop. It's a sweet, sweet trip to the candy shop. Yep, yeah, that those two things are coming through for you from your grandpa. And there's, and again, there's love coming to you there. And that doesn't mean there's a person coming to you. They're just sending love. They're sending love to you. Okay. And the, the one more thing, May West. I hope that that, <clears throat> I hope that that's helpful for you. Those are supposed to be in some way confirmations for you. And I hope that that um, is helpful. Okay. Um, and Lolly, did I already answer a question for you? Because I'm still really trying to do one question per person. But um, hey, Sally, good to see you also. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Lolly says, my ex-boyfriend, um, I can't use those words. I can't say those words on the, I can't say those words out loud because they'll X my show. So in in front of me a little over a year ago, oh my gosh, that must've been so traumatic. I'm so sorry, Lolly. I thought that might be why I had 10 angels. I did answer your question. Okay. Um, so I did say in the answer, if something happened and you could be healing from it. So yeah, that might be why. Also, let's clear that. Let, let's send him home. Also, Lolly, one of the things I'm getting, um, whether it was your fault or not, which it's never our fault when somebody makes a decision about their own life. Um, there was probably some, a lot of things going on there. We can, when we see something like this, we can feel responsible because we didn't stop it or because of what may have been said or done. So I'm going to heal, clear, release any, um, any responsibility or guilt or shame or any emotions you have with this. And I'm so sorry that this happened. That is, and all the trauma with this, we're gonna take that all now. And again, I'm so sorry for the loss. Um, I'm going to tell you this, the verbiage I'm hearing from him right now is, I forgive, I forgive you, I forgive this, I forgive you. And again, that doesn't mean it was your fault. Relationships are very difficult. And things get said and done, sometimes that we don't even mean off the cuff because we're frustrated. But for a person to take that action, there had to be a lot going on in their system. And we cannot take responsibility for other people's emotional stability or lack there of it. And what I would say, what I would say to you, Lolly, is, you know, if he had talked to a professional possibly, or what I'm really hearing is medicated, things may have been different for the whole dynamic, right? The whole dynamic. But what somebody does or does not do, we can never take responsibility for. We can only know what we know. 
also is what I'm hearing. So please um, hopefully come back and listen to these clearings again and listen to them until you have peace within you. And that will be very helpful for you. And I'm, I am so sorry, Lolly. I am so, so sorry. And I, I think I, and now I think, now I know I answered your question and thank you for that confirmation and sharing that with us. I know that must be very difficult to share. Okay. Hey, Sally. Hey, Sal again. Oh, Sal lives in Santa Barbara, California, everybody. So if you're in California, especially around the Santa Barbara area, Sal is single and he has done the work. He has done the work that I can say. Okay, Patricia wants to know, Patricia, um, I've applied to several jobs. Will I start working in the library, the energy utilities company or somewhere or something else in May? I'm gonna break your questions down to a couple of different areas, okay? Trisha, uh, first I'm going to ask if you're going to be working in May. Are we in, I think we're in the month of May. I had to do this yesterday too. I was channeling for someone and I, I have a really difficult time tracking time. Like my concept of time is not the same. So sometimes I don't know what month we're in or I don't know what, whatever, not a big deal. I think we're in May. Um, I'm getting, you're going to be, yeah, it's going to be the beginning of June. You're going to be working in the beginning of June and there's, there are three new postings you're going to find. Oh, and it's going to be one of those. Now, I don't know how you feel about, I, I'm hearing, this is what I'm going to say. It's up to you what you do with this. I'm not the boss of anybody, including myself. Um, I'm hearing that you should go to, uh, you know, your city government job.org, but go to the city's website itself, not through a company, but like the, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to use, uh, Santa Barbara.gov.jobs.org, however you get there. And you'll see a listing of all the government jobs available, Patricia, and get on those that you are qualified for, okay? And then also, I feel like um, if it, I'm hearing, now don't be offended by this, I'm hearing customer service, and I think you need to go to hotels because you can do customer service from home for a lot of hotels and uh, like um, for, I, I'm seeing Hilton um, being one of them. So go to their website and apply. And then another, and you can be anywhere. <clears throat> and if it's, you know, a remote, remote position. And then there's gonna be one more, but I'm not hearing where that is. So here's, here's what I'm going to say for you and everybody else, Patricia, and I have to hurry because the show's about to end. But what I'm going to say for you and everybody else is figure out what you really want to do and how you want to do it. So if you want to take calls while you're sitting at home for eight hours a day, then figure out what company um, uh, ha offers those type of positions and go to every company and start looking at their job or career section and start applying there. Thank you so much for everything that you, for being here with me. I love you all so much.